My beloved child, in this month, you will be surrounded by abundance and you shall prosper in all aspects. Pay heed to this complete message and do not disregard the advice I offer. Cling to these words so you awaken each morning in tranquility and serenity, with an invincible spirit and supernatural peace. During this month, you will triumph. Your dreams and goals shall come to fruition. You will not end this year empty-handed. However, make the decision to believe in me. Place your right hand upon your heart and give me your commitment to seek me every day, no matter what challenges arise. I know you wrestle with discouraging thoughts, and that's why I address you. Even as storms may rage within your heart, anxiety may knock at your door, taunting you and telling you that you will not reach your goals. You shall endure, you will not heed its voice. Do not allow defeat and failure to enter your mind. You were born for triumph. Fix your gaze upon those things that are more valuable than material possessions and personal achievements. Look after your family, ensure their well-being, and do not allow past disputes to linger in your home. As a new year begins, this month, discord shall come to an end. If you seek me daily with fervent faith, my glory will reign in your home. My majestic presence will cast out all forces of darkness that seek to divide your family and rob you of happiness. Lean on me, rise and continue on your path without fear. You will conquer all those who oppose your destiny. The trials you face are transient, but to receive your victory, you must confront them without fear. You will be unharmed, for my spirit is your shield and my powerful word is your sword. Keep walking, and if you pause, let it be for prayer, meditation, and rest. Spend time with me every day, for there are many things I wish to share with you. You must understand and believe, with all your heart, that you are important, your faith is precious, and your life is precious. You must believe me, and ignore those who have long deprived you of your significance and value. I see you with eyes of love, I am your father, and to me you were are and will always be important. I will repeat this to you many times, for I want the affection you feel in my words to be etched in your heart. When you open your eyes at dawn, may you sense my presence by your side, and may you rejoice in these tender details that make you feel how much I love you. Your life will soon be impacted by a miracle so powerful that it will transform you and your family completely. I fulfill my promises, and you have believed in them with faith. One day, I told you to cry out to me, and I would answer, that wondrous response is on its way. You're about to witness it. Read my word once more, receive my instruction, so you may know how to defend yourself and face your enemies when they come to steal the blessing I bestow upon you. You know there are people who see with anger and envy when they see you prosper. They do not like to see you smile, nor do they want your family to remain united and overflowing with happiness. Therefore, I want you to speak with me daily and feed on my word. Fill yourself with wisdom and prudence, and let your senses be alert. The past months have been challenging, I agree, but your faith has surprised me. You faced many problems with courage, defeating all your adversaries. Thus, in this month that begins, your heart is not empty, it overflows with love, encouragement, and motivation. In the remaining weeks of this year, you will witness more blessings than you have seen before. Powerful events will unfold before your eyes, greater than any you have experienced. Believe in it firmly, for it is true. Step outside with faith, knowing you carry my promise of victory with you, and may that beautiful smile on your face reflect your attitude, courage, authority, and my power. This message bestows upon you an unbreakable strength. Write with your own hand and tell me that you believe. Confirm how my Holy Spirit embraces you and aids you in rising with great enthusiasm to walk the path of triumphs and victories. Obey my word, fulfill my will, and proceed with great valor and faith. Tell me that you receive this word with love, that you believe it. Stand up, extend your hands, and receive the marvelous blessings I will grant you this month. The storm shall cease, the dark clouds that surrounded you are dissipating. I cover you with the power of my blood, your enemies are fleeing in terror. No witchcraft, sorcery, curse, slander, 
or falsehood shall ever hold power over you. I heard you when you cried out in your despair, when your boat was sinking in the waters of fear. I have come to command the sea and the storms to calm. The forces of evil saw you fallen and decided to exploit your weakness. It is true that you made a mistake that opened the door to iniquity, but you forgot something essential, you belong to me. My hand guards you and will never release you. I love you and I will be with you always. I will not change my opinion. I come to grant you freedom. I do fulfill my word. Please do not say that you cannot believe me. Do not hold on to the painful past and do not allow those dark thoughts of death into your mind. I will say it again. You belong to me. I am your friend, your advocate, and I come to defend you and present the evidence for your liberation. You will leave the prison of depression. I will uproot the root of your despair. I will anoint you with the oil of joy. I lay my hands upon your thoughts today and heal your life. Rest, cry, let it out and tell me everything you are feeling. Speak aloud or in silence. Write it down or let your thoughts flow. Your suffering ends today. You do not have to wait until tomorrow. Right here in your room, I embrace you with love and heal you with my love. This is a miracle. You hear my voice. Your soul is being healed. This is real. You are not imagining it. Now do your part. I want to see your faith and loyalty when you leave your house to face the day. I will change your countenance of sadness into one of joy. Do not be ashamed for others to see you filled with enthusiasm. You will no longer be swayed by criticisms, and I will not allow their negative words to affect you. Live your life, take care of your family, give importance to your spiritual life. Do not underestimate this opportunity. You will no longer carry those burdens on your shoulders. You can now move forward with agility. If you ever grow weary, I will lift you up. I will hold you if necessary. Nothing can stop you now. The enemy tried to destroy you with the chains of the past, but I told you, you are mine and I came to rescue you. Now you have an abundance of life and the power to tread upon the forces of evil. Nothing will harm you. Your home is free. Your family is healthy. Quarrels and contentions will cease. I kindle a light in your home that cannot be hidden and people from outside will see that my power reigns in your home. Many families you know will also be touched and healed. But I must warn you that many do not understand that you are no longer the same person they wanted to see defeated. They will now witness how I bless you and their anger will intensify. They will curse and weep, ignorant fools who think their spells can harm you. No evil ritual has power over those I love. Let this be clear to you. Let them jump, scream and twist in hatred if they wish. If they repent of their wickedness, I will be waiting to forgive them. If they abandon their sin, focus on your life. I'm opening the path for you to ascend to a supernatural spiritual level. With patience and without haste, you will finally live a clean, holy life surrounded by mercy and grace. You will not sin with your tongue and you will not allow lies or malice into your home. The storm has ended. Give me your hand and you shall walk on water as I do. If attacks come again, if you see dark clouds and approaching tempests, do not fear, have confidence. I will hold you firmly and nothing will harm you. You will never return to the waters of despair. The threats of the devourer will have no power over you. I love you, feel calm and secure under my holy protection. My promises do not fail, my word is true. Those blessings you have awaited are coming soon. You will receive them. I put them in your hands and all anxiety will vanish forever. Your anguish and worry will be gone. You have trusted in my word. And from the first time I heard your voice and your desperate cry, I sent you the answer your heart desires. Many become disheartened because they expect an immediate response to their prayers. Everyone must understand that I take joy in answering, but I must make changes in their lives first. I need to add wisdom to their character and put everything in order so that the long-awaited blessing does not become a burden. At times you ask for what you need, but I always give you much more. I consider your future and your family. I want your blessing to bring not sadness and tension, but only peace and joy. I made a covenant with you. I write my commandments in your heart and mind, and I forgive your sins. 
remembering them no more. I remind your soul that in my presence there is comfort. At my altar there is healing. There is infinite strength for those who have faith and can wait with patience and without complaints for my promises to be fulfilled. Remove bitterness from your heart, cast out doubt from your mind, and do not listen to those tongues that mock your faith. If at any point you grow weary and anxiety returns, simply cry out to me, and I will grant you perseverance so you can wait. I will give you the gift of patience, so your emotions remain steady, and you will receive prudence to control your tongue, ensuring that no foolish words that offend my heart come from your lips. I pour out abundant blessings upon your life with love and tenderness, like a parent nurturing their little one with affection. I await your gratitude and hope you never dare to demand anything from me with arrogance and pride. I want you to know that in this world, there are many who do not show me the respect I deserve, but fear not, for I possess infinite patience, and with boundless love, I await them even when they raise their voices against me, playing with the dangerous fire of disbelief. I still hold hope in my heart for their return to me. It is indeed a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. I urge you to be cautious of those who rise against any of my humble followers. I understand that life may bring frustration when things don't go as planned. But remember, it has always been this way. My response to you is in direct proportion to your efforts, and conflicts and challenges will inevitably arise. At times, envious adversaries may suddenly challenge you, and it may seem like my response is delayed. But I promise you this, I will open your spiritual eyes, and you will see that the situation is not as dire as it appears. Your blessing is right before you, waiting patiently, but you must move forward without looking back. Release any paralyzing feelings and thoughts if you wish to receive the blessings I have in store for you. To be blessed, you must endure tests. I want to witness the courage in your heart and your response when your expectations are not met. Will you continue to wait with joy in your heart without complaint, or will bitterness consume you, wasting your time and effort as it does to others? I desire to see you grow strong, to love me with all your heart and the full strength of your mind, even if my response seems slow and you must wait. I want to see that unwavering spirit I have instilled in you. I want to see a character stronger and more precious than a diamond. I want to see your loyalty to me, knowing that you will not betray your convictions for me again. You will not engage in dishonest acts, steal or lie to escape trouble, or hasten the resolution of your problems. It is through this path that true victories are achieved in the spiritual realm, and your desired blessings will come to fruition. Wait with unwavering faith, and do not allow doubts to freeze your patience. Pay no heed to the words of foolish people, and do not seek the counsel of unbelieving mockers. With love, I implore you to cherish these words in your heart. I am faithful, and I ask for your loyalty in return. Return to me each morning, and let these words strengthen your faith, and fill you with peace. Do not fear, for I love you dearly, and your blessing is on the horizon. Speak these words with your voice, write them with your hand, beloved. God, I await you with all my heart. I have determined to bless you. When you call to me, I will answer. Your life will change. Do not doubt it. I give you a new heart, and even those who know you will be amazed. Prepare to receive help from unexpected sources, and be profoundly grateful. For many doors of blessing, and new opportunities will open before you. Believe in these words, and share them. Never forget to pray. It is not difficult to talk to me. Simply close your eyes and say, Lord, I need you, and I will be right there by your side. Have faith, for this is the truth. My presence will never abandon you unless you mock my grace or discard the blessings I bestow upon you. During these times of great confusion, do not allow hatred to enter your heart. Refrain from joining the wicked in speaking ill of those who have not harmed you and are not your enemies. Do not believe the senseless rumors you see, hear, or read. If someone comes to you with slander against another, do not readily accept their words. Do not fall easily into the trap set by the enemy. My eyes search for sincere, loyal, and faithful hearts. Those who love me and respect my laws. 
I'm raising you to uplift others, encourage your family, and share these powerful and divine words, not to partake in the sins of others. Could a simple prayer hold the key to unlocking divine intervention in the face of life's most formidable challenges? Picture this amidst the storms of adversity. What if there exists a sanctuary, a refugee where fears are silenced, and deliverance is not just a distant hope, but a present reality? Dare we believe in a power so profound that it transforms affliction into triumph? Can you wrap your head around the idea that in those old-timey verses, there might be a magic trick turning tough times into victories? Well, get ready for the revelation, because we're about to dive into these ancient lines that might just spill the beans on life's biggest mysteries. It's a journey where regular stuff meets the mind-blowing. Today, my friends, we will undertake a life-changing journey through Psalm 34. This psalm offers spiritual wisdom that can guide, uplift, and enrich our lives. I am also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. According to Hebrews 4.2, the Word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So, as we engage with this powerful psalm, may every verse be a guide and comfort to you all. Prepare your hearts for another enlightening daily Jesus devotional prayer as we explore Psalm 34. Psalm 34 especially teach when should we worship at all times, continually in my mouth. Why should we seek the Lord and cry out to him? Because he heard me and answered me. How should we worship him? Magnify the Lord and let us exalt his name together. So Psalm 34 is a testimony by David of all that he went through, physically worn out and fatigued, emotionally drained and spent, and mentally about to lose it all with legitimate worry and high anxiety for fear of his life during this season in his life when everything seemed to be going from bad to worse. Psalm 34 opens with something David expresses several times, a vow to constantly praise and honor God. In this psalm, David gives thanks to God for hearing his prayers and for protecting him. After thanking God for rescue, David turns to appeal to others to trust in the Lord. To taste means something more than a superficial experience. Those who fully engage in God's will find that he is powerful and merciful. As a former shepherd, David would have been familiar with lions and knew that even those powerful creatures would suffer without food and shelter. David fully recognizes that faith in God does not make a person immune to hardship. Still, he notes that God provides all that his people truly need. The next passage of the psalm is like the words of Solomon, promoting godly wisdom and the relative safety it provides. Obedience to God is not a magical defense against all harm, but it keeps a person away from unnecessary consequences. Those who want the best outcomes in life are wise to pursue godliness and goodness, rather than sin. In keeping with those ideas, David then notes that God is aware of the struggles of his people. He is also aware of the sins of the wicked, where God's attention for those who love him is focused on compassion and mercy. His attention to those who are evil is centered on judgment. In the final section of this psalm, David both acknowledges the reality of suffering and the ultimate rescue provided by God. God's rescue of his people is not always in a physical sense, but he promises ultimate salvation to those who follow him. Another interesting thing in this last passage is the reference to broken bones. Verse 20 mentions God preventing the bones of the righteous from being broken. In immediate context, this is clearly hyperbole an exaggeration for effect. David's main point is that God is infinitely capable of protecting his people. However, this statement also serves as a prophecy about the death of the Messiah. Passover lambs were to be prepared without breaking the bones, 
and Jesus was crucified without suffering any such injury. Paul notes that Jesus serves as the fulfillment of the Passover lamb type. This comment by David is part of that foreshadowing. So, my friends, regardless of the adversities and storms we face, we can rest assured in the unmatched and unending care of our Heavenly Father, who ensures that those who trust in Him are never forsaken. My dear friends, let us be mindful of these teachings in Psalm 34. Let us be people of continuous praise, bearers of a transformative testimony, and seekers of divine deliverance. For the psalmist assures us that those who look to him will be radiant, and their faces will never be covered with shame. Now to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God, Almighty God. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. I praise you and give you all the glory, Lord. I admire your greatness, your everlasting love, and your amazing grace. I am grateful for your mercies that are new every morning and endure forever. Heavenly Father, I come before you humbly, seeking your face. Forgive me for my sins, as I also forgive those who have wronged me. In the name of Jesus, I declare that this day shall be fruitful and filled with your presence. I rebuke every spirit of confusion, doubt, worry and fear in the name of Jesus. I bind every force that seeks to derail my purpose and vision in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for your abundant blessings and increase in every area of my life. I declare victory over every sickness and disease and, in the name of Jesus, I claim healing in my body, mind and spirit. I stand on your word in Psalm 34 that your angel encamps around those who fear you. Father, I claim your protective presence over my life and that of my loved ones. I pray that my loved ones will all come to experience your grace, goodness and unwavering love. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. Pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, dear Lord, so that we may taste and see your goodness in our lives. May you charge your angels to encamp around us, ensuring our safety and delivering us from every snare. Empower us, Lord, to walk in trust and deep reverence for you. In the name of Jesus, I declare that chains of lack are broken in our lives as you fill us with your abundance and provision. Lord, I thank you that your blessings will overflow in every area of our lives, ensuring that we lack nothing as we trust in your unfailing promises. We claim victory over every challenge in the name of Jesus. We rebuke every sickness, disorder, and stronghold in our midst, and we pray for deliverance, restoration, and a protective hedge around us. Father, we embrace your peace, joy, wisdom, and every gift that you have given to us. We are grateful that you order our steps and make all the good difference in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel by sharing the video with a friend or family member who you know needs the blessing of this prayer and by clicking the like button. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You are blessed to be a blessing. Now, for those who are listening and want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. 
Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. Baptism is a symbol of that decision to follow Jesus. I then encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you are not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you.